Let me move on to another topic that's to be near and dear to y'all heart, and that's to y'all heart, and that's Bronny James, the son of LeBron James. Okay, the superstar that is LeBron James. Well, Bronny James announced on Instagram that he will be entering the draft in just a few months. He's 18 years old. He'll also maintain his college eligibility and is expected to enter the transfer portal as well. So Eric Musselman, who was coaching at Arkansas, who's now the new coach of um, the USC Trojans, that Eric Musselman, uh, should Bronny consider staying with him? I would think so. Andy Edfield, the infield, the... Uh, Former head coach, now former head coach of USC, took the SMU job. And so if you're Bronny, you're doing the transfer portal. And of course, it's obvious. Hey, look, he's of the mindset that let me test the waters, see what they say about me. I had the heart condition. I came back from that. I played in about 25 games. I scored in double digits, nine, you know, three of those times. Um, that was it. Um People are talking about his IQ, his athleticism, his defensive prowess, uh, but obviously his game needs a lot of work. He averaged less than five points a game. And they keep it that simple. And they say there's nothing wrong with him exploring his options. And on its face, I, I agree with that. And I want to emphasize that although I can be critical of LeBron James from time to time, it's all within range. It's all within reason. It's about basketball. I don't attack the man. I don't attack the family man. I don't attack the father. I don't attack the husband. It's none of my business. And by all accounts, the guy seems to be a pretty incredible dad who loves his son. And so I say this with the level of sensitivity that it deserves. And I want to make sure everybody understands where I'm coming from when I talk about LeBron James and Bronny James in this regard. I root for the kid. I've never gone to see Bronny James play because I didn't want to judge him with a keen critical eye like I would any basketball player because I think what, you know, him being LeBron James' son, there's a level of expectation that gets heaped on his shoulders that I think is grotesquely unfair. But I also think that unfairness has been instigated to some degree by LeBron James, who's been on the record saying he wants to play with his son, who's been on the record saying he's willing to depart from whatever team he's playing for just to be there for his son and to play in the same uniform. And when you give that indication – one would argue that's why he could declare for the NBA draft to see what level of interest he's going to have. But is the interest going to be there because of his game or is it going to be there because of his daddy? LeBron James, I have no doubt, had no intentions of putting Bronny James in that situation. But there's no question that it plays a role. Most people who's averaged five points a game in their first year in college after a health condition don't choose to enter the NBA draft. That just doesn't happen. Now, again, he's just experiment. See how much he's worth. See what they're going to say about him. See where the interest is going to lie before he decides to transfer and go someplace else and he doesn't have to sit out. I get all of that. But please understand that the expectations are not going to change nor diminish in any way because his father's LeBron James and LeBron James has said he wants his son in the NBA no matter the cost. Had LeBron James not said that, although the pressure would still be on him, I'm not sure it would be to this degree. But he did say it, and it is on. So let's see how Bronny James handles it. Just the other night, LeBron James post game said he's a young man, he's his own man, and he's going to make his decision himself, and we'll support whatever decision he wants to make. We'll see if that's the case. I have no doubt that it is. And I wish Bronny James nothing but the best. He's a great kid. Um by all accounts, and I'm, I'm rooting for him. I really, really hope that he ends up being good enough to go to the NBA. I'm hearing a lot of stuff about his little brother, Bryce, though. So we shall see. We definitely shall, she, shall, shall see. I'm sorry.